Hello viewers from across the internet and welcome back to the Matt VidPro AI YouTube channel. Today we have a very special one to show you guys. This website is completely free. It uses Stable Diffusion, GPT-3. It's, it's a very exciting and very unique website and I think you guys are going to have a ton of fun with it today. Before we get into all of that though, I do have a few little things I'd like to talk about. Last week I didn't really upload that much. In fact, I basically didn't upload at all. I was sick, unfortunately, but I am luckily feeling better at this moment in time. So yes, to this week should have some decent videos. I'm excited. Last week, the Matt's Lemon Challenge on Open Art had ended. We did a live stream and picked the winners of the Lemon Challenge. So there were six total winners. Congratulations to the winners of the Matt's Lemon Challenge as promised. You guys will be getting t-shirts with your art generated on it, which will be super awesome. And you also will be accredited $500 uh, Dolly 2 credits on Open Arts website. But enough about all of that. Let's get into what we are talking about today. Today we are witnessing a new website that combines several different AIs to create a new kind of creative entertainment experience. For me, this was really cool to see, and I wasn't expecting stuff like this to pop up in the AI world so soon, but, you know, the AI world is moving very quickly, so I guess I can't say I'm not that surprised, but this is super cool. Like I said, it uses GPT-3, and it uses Stable Diffusion to generate the art. We are going to be talking about this right here. This right here is once upon a bot and essentially what we can do is type a little prompt in here and it's going to write stories for us using gpt3 so i'll just type like a little prompt in there finishes out the entire story but it also will graphically illustrate the stories using stable diffusion which is so cutting edge that's awesome i love to see that i, th I think that's the icing on the cake for this particular website. As you can see, there are featured stories that we can find on this site as well. So for example, we have like this main one up here called The Futurist, which was six days ago. And actually over 10,000 stories have been written on this. So there actually are a, a lot of people that are using this now, but I haven't seen anyone talk about it until today. I actually discovered this website from the guy who made my website. So thank you to Unicorn Trainwreck for showing off this this amazing website to me and allowing me to show you viewers it today. Let's check out the unremarkable opossum seven days ago. As you can see, when we click on a story here, we have a main title cover and it says by you and a robot. And it kind of reads like a children's storybook almost, but all using AI, all AI generated. And for now, at least completely free, which is awesome. There once was an opossum who was quite unremarkable. He was a little bit gray and a little bit brown, and he had a long pointy nose. He wasn't very fast, and he wasn't very strong, and he wasn't particularly good at anything. So yeah, this opossum is pretty unremarkable so far, I would have to say. One day, the opossum tried to find his purpose in life. That is a daring task for this opossum, I must say. He started by trying to be the fastest animal in the forest, but he soon found out that he was quite slow compared to the other animals. And then he tried to be the strongest animal in the forest. He quickly discovered that he was much weaker than the other animals. It's so crazy to me that so far these two paragraphs we have read are just completely AI generated and the imagery as well. It's it's absolutely crazy because, you know, this is something like I, I could imagine picking a book like this up, you know, in Target or something in the children's section. It's just like a little book about an opossum, for example. But like the writing, it, it works. And the fact that it's just generating and auto-creating it on the side is so awesome. Yeah, children's storybook writers are definitely going to have to watch out because I bet this can just create children's storybooks right off the gate. Anyways, continuing this, the opossum was starting to feel quite discouraged, unfortunately. He didn't know what he was good at, and he was beginning to think that maybe he didn't have a purpose in life. Wow, this opossum is really going off the deep end here. Oh, man. But then one day, the opossum had a very special encounter. He met a little girl who was lost in the forest, and he helped her find her way home. The girl was so grateful to the opossum that she hugged him and told him that he was a hero. So I guess it, it all worked out for this opossum. He's a freaking hero now. And there we go. We get the illustration with the girl and the opossum. That's so crazy. And it's actually like illustrated. It's drawn like a storybook, which is interesting. We'll have to test this ourselves and see how this all works out. Anyways, the opossum was surprised. He didn't feel like a hero, 
but he was glad that he had been able to help the little girl. From that day on, he decided to focus on being kind and helping others, and he was happy to have finally found a purpose in life. So I guess it all ended well for those opossum. This is literally a children's book that you could actually sell. How is my writing? You know what? It was just good. How are my illustrations? I think they were pretty good, actually, to be honest. And then you can submit feedback. That's crazy. Create a new story. We're, we're going to be doing this today. The website's pretty simple, pretty rudimentary, as you can see, but uh, quite powerful so far as well. This is basically just a storybook generator right off the bat. They're short, but you could sell that story and target almost. It's so close. It needs almost no work. So incredible. I love the, the new technology that we are experiencing. I mean, guys, honestly, when we're going to write a story for this channel, what do you think we're going to pick? That's right. A lemon character wearing sunglasses, and he's probably going to be on a beach as well. Although I like to put him in other locations as well, because he hangs out on the beach way too much. I think we can all agree. Anyways, tell me a story about a lemon character wearing sunglasses relaxing on the beach. And we just press the create button right here. And as you can see, it's writing your story, don't refresh, and uh, Peter is, seems to be writing my story, which is kind of scary, to be honest. Oh no, now it's, now it's this little kitten who's writing my story. That's actually kind of a cute gag. I like that, I like that he included this on the website. If, if when he sort of goes more public with this website that he's created, that would be so cool to see him in, keep as a feature. I like little tidbits creative tidbits and stuff like that. I imagine this might actually take a decent amount of time to uh, generate Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Lemon on the Beach by Ewan Robot. And here is our title cover here. That is, um, that is not a lemon. That is a woman. But she definitely does look like she's got some lemon clothing on. Uh, I guess that's Lemon. All right, Lemon is a, is a, just a woman on the beach. <laughs> lemon was relaxing on the beach, wearing his sunglasses and soaking up the sun. He loved the beach. It was always so peaceful and calming. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore always made him feel so relaxed. Hey, that's uh, page one there. Lemon was so lost in thought that he didn't even hear someone approaching him. When he finally looked up, he saw a woman standing in front of him, looking angry. You know what? I suppose down there that could be our little lemon character, and that's the woman who's really upset at him. So he actually, this was maybe was the woman the whole time. This is just a part of a, a cover there. Maybe that's lemon. Maybe that is lemon over there. Anyways, uh, there's lemon. And there is the woman. So actually, Stable Diffusion did a pretty good job illustrating this one. And he does seem to be using some pre-baked stuff to generate all of this imagery. I'm not sure how it all works under the hood, but it's quite impressive so far. And I like that it just does it all automatically for you. You don't have to worry about anything. It just generates stories. Hey, you're blocking my son, she shouted. The lemon is literally tiny. I don't know about that. Anyways, Lemon was so startled that he immediately moved out of the way. The woman plopped down in the spot where Lemon had been sitting and closed her eyes, looking like she was about to fall asleep. What a- I can't believe they're disrespecting my Lemon character like this. He was just trying to soak up and enjoy some sun on the beach, and here comes this woman taking his spot. That is disrespectful right there, guys. I'm not so sure how I, how I feel about that one. Anyways, this illustration's alright. I mean, it shows a woman relaxing on the beach. Lemon's not in it, but not that bad so far. It's pretty decent for being completely auto-prompt generated. Lemon was about to say something, but he decided against it. He didn't want to cause any more trouble. He picked up his things and moved to another spot on the beach where he could continue relaxing in peace. The end. Okay, so basically the whole story about this Lemon is he was relaxing on the beach. This woman is just being a jerk. End of story. He, but he's being respectful at least. This Lemon is respectful. He doesn't want any more trouble. He doesn't want to be in any way. He just wants to relax. He does not care about this woman's garbage that she's given him. She's given him crap, and he does not... He's not having any of it. He's just going to completely ignore it. So, Lemon's got a good moral compass, I think, from is what we've learned from this story here. Anyways, absolutely incredible. Let me know what you guys think. In the future, like, I think you're going to see on the shelves of stores, brick-and-mortar stores, completely AI-generated books. It, it's just crazy. Or what we might actually see is apps that you... You know, your kids would be able to download on a little tablet or iPad, iPhone, whatever it might be, where they can generate stories about their favorite characters or characters that they make up. And that's pretty much already almost possible. You could just go to this website if you wanted on your iPad and your kid could make stories and read them about whatever they want. So I could see this as not only an education tool, but, you know, as a tool for straight up entertainment, I think, uh, especially as this technology becomes more advanced and we incorporate something like 
I don't know, text to video to something like this? Fully AI generated movies? Is that coming in the future? Yeah, AI generated movies, fully AI generated movies are absolutely coming in the future. Yeah, we're already basically at AI generated storybooks, short stories, which is so awesome. All right, we're going to throw this AI for a straight up loop here with this one. My prompt here is Ronald McDonald wrestling against Walter White from Breaking Bad. So yeah, I don't think that one's going to be super easy for this AI to figure out. All right, we didn't really get a title for this one for some reason, but it definitely worked. Ronald McDonald was having a terrible day. All of his friends were making fun of him, Ronald. I mean, you're a legend. You're literally the mascot for the biggest fast food chain in the world, and you're getting made fun of? Something's wrong there. Anyways, his friends were making fun of him, and he had just gotten a bad grade on his math test. R Ronald, you're still in school, dude? That just, that just doesn't make any sense at all, considering he must be a multi-millionaire. Anyways, as he was walking home, he saw Walter White from Breaking Bad. Walter White was the coolest guy in school, and he was always making fun of Ronald. Walter's just being a jerk there. Not gonna lie, Walter, you don't have to be like that. It's not really fair to Ronald. Ronald was so angry that he forgot all about his math test. He charged at Walter and tackled him to the ground. The two of them started wrestling, and it quickly turned into a full-fledged fight. They punched and kicked each other until they were both exhausted. So I suppose this is supposed to be Ronald McDonald and Walter White fighting each other here. This guy's missing a finger. Combination of Walter White and Ronald McDonald, I think, for both of these. And this looks like it appears to be some sort of a feast going on at a table. And yeah, that's like Walter White's misshapen head. Yeah, I think this one definitely is giving Stable Diffusion a run for its money here. If we scroll up, this one wasn't so bad either, though. I mean, they're both wearing glasses like Walter White would. It's, it's just sort of mixing the faces up and stuff. But like you can tell, this is going to be Walter White. This is Ronald. It's not that bad. And, you know, they're staring at each other. At least it got the composition pretty close. That's not too bad. Moving down here, finally, Walter White got the upper hand and he pinned Ronald McDonald to the ground. He was about to punch Ronald again when suddenly he realized that Ronald wasn't fighting back. Ronald was just lying there, whimpering in fear. Ronald, oh my god. The Ronald is such a loser in this story. I thought Ronald was supposed to be the king of the, the McDonald world. Walter White felt bad about what he was doing. He realized that Ronald McDonald was just a scared little kid, and he was picking on him because he was an easy target. Walter White got off Ronald and helped him to his feet. No pictures for a bunch of these. I wonder how it's like deciding which ones need to be animated and, or I mean drawn, and which ones don't need to be drawn. Ronald was so grateful that Walter White didn't beat him up. I mean, he did though. Walter White would literally pin him to the ground. They were literally fighting. From that day on, the two of them became friends. Well, that's good, at least. Whenever Walter White needed someone to help him with his math homework, I guess Walter White's not good at math, even though he's supposed to be like a genius chemist. He knew that Ronald, or he knew that he could always count on Ronald McDonald to help him out. <laughs> okay, interesting. So it always tries to actually circle around to like an end moral, which is really interesting. And it's clearly, like, not predetermined which one of these paragraphs actually gets generated into a, an image. So we only got two, and we didn't even get a title. So it's very interesting. Some stuff's going behind the scenes. We don't really know how it works, but, yeah, there's a lot of automation going on here, and I think it's working out pretty decently. Like, you have to admit, for just, like, a little play website, completely free to use, by the way, guys, which is super awesome. I hope, hope they expand this website future. I hope the creator, Charlie Holtz, down here expands this in the future, but it's just such an interesting website. It's a really interesting concept. I haven't seen anything like it before. And yeah, if you guys generate any interesting stories, you can always share them, by the way, if I click on one of these random ones. This one has like a font too, which is weird. Anyways, if you scroll to the bottom, you can always copy the link to the story. If you guys make any really cool, fun stories, I absolutely would love to see them in my Discord channel. So feel free to join my list Discord with the, the link down in the description below and share them in general chat even, or AI generation media, anything like that. I would love to see what you guys create. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I also would love to hear your feedback on what you think of this new little setup for videos. Do you like the couch setup? Do you like the face cam with the actual recording? Would you rather no face cam when I, you know, switch to the screen? Let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you so much for all the support, guys. Check out some of my other videos. Check out the MattVid Pro website for a link to not only this website, but a bunch of other websites as well. But I'll also, I'll also link this website just right down in the description to make it easy for you guys. Yeah.
Thank you for watching. Goodbye.